I'm Mike Peterson with Loft Labs. If you're using Amazon EKS, then stay tuned. I'll cover how to configure an Nginx ingress controller for a virtual cluster using the built-in load balancer service. Let's get started. To start things out, we created a brand new EKS cluster, and we can see that with EKS CTL get cluster. It's going to show vcluster dash demo dash EKS. Then we're going to run kubectl get namespace, and that's going to show us the default namespaces that are created with a EKS cluster. After that, we need to install an Nginx ingress controller. We can do that with Helm. One of the only values that we have to actually set within this is controller.extraargs.enable SSL pass through to true. What this is gonna let us do is use the SSL pass through option to pass the traffic to the API running within the virtual cluster. So we'll run kubectl get service in the Nginx ingress namespace, and we're gonna grep load balancer, and then we're gonna print the actual load balancer information that we're gonna need for our DNS record. So here what we'll do is we'll set up our DNS record real quick. Uh, we're gonna set it up for demo.vcluster-demo.com. And then what we can do is we can create a namespace for the vcluster. So we'll use kubectl create namespace demo vcluster. After that, what we can do is go ahead and create the ingress resource. So kubectl create demo vcluster ingress, and let's go ahead and take a look at what's in that file. So here, what we're doing is we're doing SSL pass through, SSL redirect, and the host name is demo.vcluster-demo.com. This is what your ingress is going to look like when you create it uh, on your EKS cluster. And we're gonna be using the load balancer that is built in that we created with the Nginx ingress controller. So now we're gonna go ahead and create the virtual cluster. So vcluster create demo movie cluster in the namespace demo v cluster. We're not going to connect to it and we're going to use this values file to create it. So we're going to tell it that we're going to use demo.vcluster-demo.com and we're telling it what the uh, config server is going to be. If we do a vcluster list, we can see that we're actually running a vcluster now. It's running in EKS. So you can see that information here and we're going to go ahead and connect to it without updating our current cube config and we're going to tell it which server to connect to. What this is going to do is go ahead and connect. It's going to go ahead and give us a cube config that we can use to interact with that cluster. So what we're going to do now is we're going to get namespaces with that cube config. But one of the one of the gotchas is you got to wait for your DNS resolution to get configured. Otherwise, you're going to see an error like that. So now that we've waited a little bit, the the uh, DNS is configured. What we'll do is we'll get the namespaces again with that same cube config. And just to show you that we're using the right server, here it is. And then what we can do is we can get namespaces on the base cluster for EKS and show that there's two different clusters uh, going on. There's a virtual cluster and an EKS cluster. Uh, that's pretty much it. That's a quick demo. Uh, thanks for hanging out. Thanks for checking out this video. If you're running an ingress controller that's not Nginx, please comment below and let us know. That way we can make different kinds of guides based on other kinds of ingress controllers. Right now we've got a lot of stuff around Nginx. seems like Nginx is used pretty heavily, so uh, let us know. Thank you.